If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Libra, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for August 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you and pulled an additional five cards to expand and confirm on the original five cards using the Connolly Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. Many of you that have watched me for quite a while know that I do give brief definitions and descriptions prior to my Spirit Guides messages when I show you each of the cards. And sometimes my Guides messages do not match what a book definition of the cards would be. So make sure to listen carefully. This recording is for Libra Sun, Libra Ascendant, and Libra Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Libra, now on to your reading for August 2017. First card you have here is the Nine of Pentacles. This is being at peace and contentment with your life and having financial stability and financial abundance behind you. I feel like you're going to be doing everything differently. I get some of you Libras really changing, uh, like changing it up, changing what you're doing, changing your routine. You could be changing, uh, you know, your appearance even or your clothing, but uh, doing a lot of changes and changing things up in August. Might do some traveling. And I, I get creativity and the words creative spending. You could start to do some uh, creative projects or spend some money uh, on some uh, creative pursuits or creative endeavors that would be, uh, I don't know if I want to say they'd be different for you out of the norm, but I do see you getting creative with your spending and also spending money on creative projects and creative pursuits. I see some of you Libras deciding you want to get back to basics and you could be selling off some items in your home or uh, just I get like selling some selling things off like so maybe you have some antiques or things of value that you really are just sitting around and collecting dust and you might decide to start selling some of these items. Now to expand on the Nine of Pentacles you have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is as I say expanding on your Nine of Pentacles and this would be a water sign female or just a water sign person uh, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, Sun sign, Rising sign or Moon sign. You may have some uh, be harboring some grievance uh, with a Queen of Cups or going back and forth about some issues with the Queen of Cups. Now this could be a sister to you, it could be a mother, it could even be like somebody you're in a love relationship and it could be male, although it does really feel female to me the way the guides are talking, but um, you could be ha having consternation with them or going back and forth with them about stuff in August and maybe even just into September and October. For some of you, I feel like they're trying to ride your coattails or they're trying to get something from you. Knowledge, information, insight, business, money. It could be anything. Uh, sex, if it's uh, a love partner or somebody that you get intertwined with in that way. But um, I feel like there's a lot of disinformation coming from this Queen of Cups to you in August. 
I feel generally your attitude about them is going to feel bothered by them, annoyed by them, fed up with them, or like you're putting up with something from them that you don't really want to. So that's the energy I feel is of your emotions towards the Queen of Cups. Now, the next card you have is the Strength card, which is having this courage and strength over adversity. It can mean spiritual power over the material world. It could also be dealing with a Leo, it's possible. I do feel that some of you Libras may be giving up and letting go of some cherished goal or idea. Could even be a relationship or a job or a career, but it feels like a cherished goal or idea. And I actually feel like this is going to be a little bit of a, of a relief for you to let it go, even though that may sound like why. Um, for some reason, I just feel that you're giving up something, could even be like giving up a habit, like smoking cigarettes or drinking or gambling or, you know, chocolate or gluten. You could be giving up anything, but um, it could even be something that was once really important to you. But I do get some relief coming from you for giving this up. That's uh, how it comes up here. I see you figuring out the next step of a game plan. I see you writing things down like, okay, step one, I'm doing this. Step two, I'm doing that. Like I see you actually mapping out uh, some kind of game plan for yourself and putting it in writing either on the computer or on your phone and saving it or on a you know piece of paper or however you're going to do it. But I do see you... Uh, mapping out some kind of plan, step-by-step -step plan. So the card that's expanding on your strength card is the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is a fire sign person. This could either be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Um, it could also be some kind of message to you about work, or some kind, something to do with communication, if it's not a person. I feel for some of you, this could be a son or a daughter or some, maybe even a love partner or a sibling, but whoever it is, they're worried about you. They have concern over you. They're feeling like they want to make sure you're okay. Like, this is somebody that cares about you and is... Um, kind of feeling like they want to make sure you're okay or like that you have everything under control. That's the energy coming from this page of wands. So to me, it does really feel like a person, not just a, a message. They might even be instrumental in helping you get rid of things or sell things. And if you were one of the Libras that wanted to like sell a piece of property or sell personal items, personal property, this page of wands might step in and help you with that. Or like if you're listing things, uh, you know, listing things for sale and like newspapers, Craigslist, eBay, anything like that, they may help you. But I do feel like they they're worried and concerned about you and want to make sure that you've got everything together. Next, you have the two of swords. This is a block, a stop or a stalemate um, could also mean that there's uh, things that are unknown. You don't have, know the whole story or the whole picture. And it can also be a lot of emotions tied up here. I see many of you Libras like getting a dumpster and actually putting not only items like, you know, junk or things from the house. I see you getting rid of a lot of paperwork as well. Files and files of papers. You may be shredding them. You may be uh, burning them. or But really, it, I see many of you putting stuff in a, uh, in a dumpster. That, that comes up for some of you. You may be in a position where you have to keep your mouth shut and wait. Uh, some of you may be waiting to file divorce. Some of you could be waiting for a settlement to come in from a lawsuit or a court case that was pending or something. But I get for some of you, 
having to wait, being in a waiting phase, keeping your mouth shut, and it could there could be, like I said, legalities or legal connections around what it is you're keeping your mouth shut about. Inspiration comes from within, and I feel that some of you may even start to write a book. You may start writing something or write a story or you know, or even just start journaling things that are going on, writing things down and keeping some kind of record is also indicated here. Some of you could be having a problem with your lower back or your back in August and also some of you Libras might be experiencing some issues with tendons or tendonitis in your legs or your Achilles heel or anything to do with tendons could be giving you flare-up or some kind of issue. The card you have expanding on the Two of Swords is the Six of Swords, which is moving. Uh, this card can also indicate long-distance travel, and it can also mean moving on to better shores, from you know to better times and better shores. I feel many of you are going to have a big change that's going to come up for you in any time between September and the end of November, but really October is what's highlighted the most to me. But any time between September and the end of November, many Libras are going to have some kind of big change. I do see some of you Libras moving uh, because I do see you getting uh, packing boxes and uh, packing crates and bubble wrap and you know, packing tape. I'm seeing you, some of you are packing boxes. Now this could be your home, could be somebody else's home. Like, you know, if you had somebody like a parent that's deceased or you know, somebody in your family that, that uh, needs help in you helping them move or that they've passed away and now you have to pack up their things and sell it or put it in storage. But it could be you. It could, it could be your move, actually. It could even be a move of a business. Uh, you could be packing up a business and moving to another location. It could also be that. I feel like some of you are going to do something different with your hair. Uh, change and style your hair differently or highlight it. And many of you will. Uh, I pick up some of you changing your contact color of your eye. Also, eyes comes up here, too. You have King of Rods next. This is a fire sign male. This is either a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising sign. And you had the Page of Wands here. Now you got the King of Rods. Wands and Rods are the same thing. Uh, so it could be the same person, but maybe not. We have to see. For some of you, there's some trouble times. This could be a father figure for some of you that is upset. If your father, if it, your father has already passed away, or that doesn't make sense to you, this could also be somebody like a father figure to you, or an uncle, or a boss, somebody that's got some kind of prominent. And it could be a husband. Uh, I really do feel it's male. This to me does not feel female, um, but you know, it could be a female. But really, this does feel male to me. I feel they're troubled and they want to get out of the situation that they're in. I feel like they're troubled about something. They may not feel well or they may be having some altercations with neighbors uh, or their living situation or a roommate or somebody they're connected to. But I get this uh, King of Rods feels troubled to me. He may even be taking a loan out or, uh, you know, get, getting a second mortgage. Uh, or doing something, if he's having any financial or legal trouble or trouble with uh, money in any way, he could be like get, getting a loan uh, to try to you know pay for something, or he could be um, like I said getting a second mortgage. That's possible. So the card that's expanding it is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is expanding the King of Rods. And the Three of Cups is parties, gatherings, and celebrations. It could be three friends, three sisters, three females. It could also be um, a celebratory conclusion to something that's going on in your life. You could be attending a party, and you could be throwing a party. 
some of you have a big special gathering that's coming up in August or September and I feel it's connected to do with family I feel like it could be a wedding it could be a funeral it could be a big party of a big celebration like an engagement party or whatever but it's a big gathering and I feel family circling all around it some of you have some money that are going to be given to you and this money is going to be like quite a big blessing for you for some of you there's some making money and starting over and change connected to do with the king of rods some of you the king of rods could be your rising sign or your moon sign if you have fire as your rising sign or your moon sign so that could be pertaining to you uh, but for some of you, again, like I said, it could be a father, a boss, an uncle, or somebody male. Of, I really do feel it's male for most of you, unless it's your rising sign or your moon sign. Uh, this, uh, there may be somebody that the King of Rods may be pouring their heart out to you uh, or to someone else, but that would be, you would hear about it and know about it. And... It's all because I feel like they've got some difficulties or troubles and they're tr and they're like pouring their heart out to you or to someone else because they've had some issues or some troubles. <clears throat> the last two cards you have for August is the Eight of Rods and this is news coming to you swiftly. Um, it could be sudden change, news coming swiftly. It could also be travel. I do feel that some of you are going to receive some communication that's going to come to you from a distance and I really feel that you actually don't know what to do with this communication. This could be somebody from uh, you know a family member that lives far away. It could be a work related situation but I feel like there's definitely distance here of this communication coming at you. And something is going to come up, Libra, where you're going to have to decide something based on this communication. There's going to be, it's going to come at you where you have to make some kind of decision um, based on the communication that you're getting. And to expand on the Eight of Rods, you have, now in this Connolly Tarot deck, they don't use the devil. They have materialism. Well, materialism is the same thing as the devil card would be in other decks. So this would be addictions to something, drugs, alcohol, spending money, sex, gambling, anything like that could also be addicted to an unhealthy relationship or trapped and attached and bound to an unhealthy relationship or situation and it's expanding on the eight of rods. Some of you have been forced into uh, being part of something you didn't really want to. This could be at work, like maybe they roped you in to do some kind of work that you didn't really want to do, and now you're part of it, and there could be some fallout or issues or trouble to do with it, and now you're like, I didn't want to do that in the first place. It could also be uh, maybe somebody in your family encouraged you or roped you in to do something or a spouse or a friend that you didn't really want to do and now you feel like you're kind of chained and bound to the situation. Now that's not going to apply to all of you because these are general readings and please always remember to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because the messages may not be pertaining to your sun sign. It does happen a lot. So, you know, a lot of people write me about, oh, my moon sign made sense. Oh, my sun sign, I mean, my rising sign made sense this month. So don't get too hung up about your sun sign if these messages aren't making sense to you. I do feel that some of you Libras feel a little upset over some circumstances that you may feel like They've befallen on you and you may feel like you got a little victimized or like you were roped in. Like I said, like you got pulled into something or roped into something or you may feel victimized. And I pick up you feeling like you might not see a way to get out of it or what to do to change it. Or you may feel like your hands are tied and there's nothing you can do about it right now in this month of August. 
your best plan of attack in any situation you're going to uh, be confronted with, should any arise, Libra, is to lay all your cards out on the table and be upfront and honest and truthful with what you feel, believe, and what is going on. Because that is what's going to be the key and serve you here. So I hope this reading was of help to you. I certainly hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post my readings to YouTube. If you would like to get a continuation of this reading, Libra, where I look into my crystal for you and get additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for you for eight, I almost said April, for August 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for August 2017 Psychic Crystal Readings for each sign of the Zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com Click on the Videos tab on my menu and go to page 11. At the top of page 11 you'll see the headings for these videos. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, I've received several emails from some people that wanted me to do regular love readings on YouTube, but because I do uh, psychic, private psychic readings five days a week and the other videos I record, plus the mid-month readings I record and the new moons and the full moons and the eclipse videos I record, I don't have time to do any more, reg like I can't add regular love readings to YouTube. However, occasionally I do do them on Vimeo and I just recorded singles and couples romance forecast for the remainder of 2017 which actually spilled over into the first quarter of 2018 and you can access those videos if you're interested in looking into love by clicking on the other link below this video and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for the romance singles and couples there it's a long video they're almost 30 minutes each singles and couples romance forecast for the remainder of 2017 love readings you can also get them by clicking on the videos tab on my menu on my website and go to the bottom of page 10 that's where those readings are you click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. I wish you an absolutely amazing August, Libra. And now that I wish you many blessings and peace. Please check out my other videos that I'm posting to my YouTube channel, The Psychic Pastry Chef, where I'll show you how to make great cakes, desserts, and pastries you can make at home, and I'll give you psychic predictions for each sign of the zodiac throughout the video. I hope you enjoy them, and please be sure to check out the other special videos I'm recording for my Psychic Pastry Chef Vimeo On Demand channel. Thanks for watching.